So funny thing happened, uh, I recently posted sort of my first, I guess my second timeless video ever and in that video I said I really want to try the format and then I started looking at the deck list and it's like oh my god I can't afford to craft any of them. And then it turns out this midweek magic event, uh, you, you can just play these decks which is super cool. So why not play, uh, um, 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 let's do primeval titan, I don't know. Uh, hey guys, today we're playing this deck. Uh, what does this do? We'll, we'll find out together. Um, it's clearly a primeval titan crater hoof thing. Where do we get tokens from? Is it literally just play things to add lands? How many lands are we playing? Oh no, I have to know what the lands do, don't I? Hang on. Field of the dead. Okay, so we're a field of the dead deck as well. Um, what's the worst that can happen? Let's just play it. I, I did want to try this format though, and this is a good way to just play some decks. Obviously... We're in a container here. We're playing against the same decks and stuff, but I mean, that's okay, right? Also, we're not going to be matched up against that, uh, people with our same MMR, I guess. I mean, this is a lot of lands, but also, like, that's the whole point, right? Is this keepable, though? I don't have anything. I'm going to mulligan. This is, I, I guess it's fine. I, I feel like I probably have to, like, mulligan a lot with this thing to find something specific. And I don't know what that is. Alright, so this is the Phoenix deck. Or the Grixis deck. This is the Death Shadow deck. Never mind. Does this put the land into play? It does. And we can do this one. Alright, they draw an extra card. We will play this. We will play... I should play this one first, right? Yeah, we'll play this one. This is fine. Play this. Put this into play. Um, so what do I name with this? I don't know. Yes, I'm in another window looking up the creature types of Crater Hoof. It is a beast. We should probably name that then. Okay. That enters tapped. So we can play this name. Beast. So are we playing this? Or we're probably playing this, right? Play this. Draw Field of the Dead. We'll play this one for the green land. Then we'll play this. Which lets us put Field of the Dead in. No attacks. So next turn I can play this. Get Crater Hoof. Or Primeval Titan. Depending on... Uh, a Primeval Titan might be better. I didn't look at the deck list. I don't know if this deck has counter spells. Because it's a... Uh, it's a Grixis Death Shadow deck. Is it? Is this? This is the Grixis deck, right? Surely. I didn't look at the deck list. I should have. I assumed it's the, de the Death Shadow deck. It, it could be the Phoenix deck. To be honest. It might actually be... Yeah. Hm. Weird. I don't... I didn't... I, sh I really should have done my research. And checked the deck list out. But you know what? If I was playing Timeless, I would be just as confused. You know what? I, I'm, I eliminated my unfair advantage by pretending... Like I'm playing this in the wild when I'm really in an enclosed event. So it's fine. So we can activate this at 6. Which is useful potentially. Okay, it is the Phoenix deck. I do have reach. I'm not going to block this turn. Sure. So I don't know if I have time to Primeval Titan. I'm under too much pressure here. So I think I'm going to... Although, I do get zombies. Add six. Play this for three. So I only have four, right? Take action. Uh, let's go with Titan. I can't play it this turn, though. So if, we, if we're choosing Titan, I can just chump. I don't need the Grazer for Crater Hoof. Sure. I'll probably take this six this turn. Go to eight. But we will be looking to trump block uh, next turn. Unless they get a couple more phoenixes or something. Um, none right now. They've got one card in hand. Lots of faithless lootings though. They have three mana. So they can cast one of these. Draw two, discard two. If they find a phoenix or two. I'll be trump blocking this turn and possibly losing treasure crews. Okay. That surveils. 
But they have one mana. No phoenixes. So they need one mana discard. That doesn't do it. Just realized there are 11. So maybe, uh... Maybe Crater Hoof would have been a good idea. Could I have cast it for... No, I couldn't have. So it's kind of fine. Yep. They draw. I draw. Sure, so let's do... Let's tap these. Add six. Play this. We get two lands. Do you have anything that adds a reach creature? Um, this, this does not have reach. It's a blocker, but it doesn't have reach. This gains life. That could be useful. Are the, the good lands here? The one... Oh, uh, there's a Bajuka Bog. Do they have... Hmm. No, no phoenixes though. Oh, this is here. Target creature gains haste. So if we take this in a red land, we should do that, right? And then give it haste and attack with it. Yeah, let's do this. It should enter untapped. Get some zombies. Then we can tap this. Give this haste. Then I can... That brings them down to three. So I can... The, the zombies don't matter. The life could be useful. I guess Bajuka Bog is fine. Uh, exile their graveyard. It gets rid of all these uh, Faithless Lootings. Oh, they, that goes to a 1-1. One, one. Oh, so the zombies were relevant. They go to 3. They did cast a treasure crew, so they have 4 cards. I have a chump blocker for the flyer. I have blockers for the 1-1. One, one, the dragon rage channeler, so long as it doesn't get flying again. They could do a lot with 4 cards and 4 mana though. Most of their deck cost 1. Oh, hard cast of Phoenix. That should be a win. We we can chump the Phoenix and we win next turn. Good thing I saw this land. I was looking for the modern combo. I don't think it's in timeless. Yes, nice. Well, we got her first win. Had no clue what I was doing, but I did it. Whatever I did. Let's see what we get. Probably gems. Yeah. My collection is too stacked. It's, it's not there's no uh there's no duplicate protection, so I just get gems. Um, so what? This puts a land. This finds a land. Our lands intertapped, notably all of them. We have a Titan. I guess this could be fine. I'm not sure, like, I'm not 100%. Okay, so this has to be the Death Shadow deck, right? Was there any other black deck? There was a mono black deck, but would they be playing? Okay, so definitely, definitely the, the Shadow deck then. All right, so we'll just play this, I guess. That's fine. Hands pretty clunky. Now, all the tap lands are a bit rough. I will take one. Uh, that is also not a land, which is awkward, huh? Yeah, play this. We will put this in play. Alright. Well, if we find a land... No attacks. If we find a land... We'll have four. We can play this. Find, uh... Uh, that's fine. We can find Castle Garenbrig, and that gives us the mana for this. So that's not bad. This was draw a card, then put a land. Thought Seize. So we have two Silver and Scrying, so Primeval Titan should be the target then. Yeah. So now I have nothing to ramp into. Exiles that. Gains, or deal, what is it, Drain 2? God, I haven't thought about this card in so long. It's, yeah, gain 2... I lost two because it was an instant or sorcery. Um, block. All right. I guess. I mean, this it could be good, but it could, it's risky. We should just do this. What land is good? But Jukabog's useful. Castle Garenbrig's useful. Field of the Dead, of course, is great. Probably just grab Field of the Dead. It's fine. Field of the Dead, play this. This doesn't do anything, so I think I just... Well, I, I guess I could block with it, but I don't think it, I'm going to. Okay. Sure. Yep. Looks at their own card. Usually you do that when you have, uh... 
a fetch land, right? You see if you want your card. If you don't, you shuffle it. Otherwise, I prefer to look at my opponent's card. Information is good. Uh, block this one. I shouldn't have blocked this last turn just in case they could, uh... What do they have to do to amass? Um, drawing, right? Okay. There's a land. So, hmm. So we have one, two, three, four, five. I can play both of these. Let's play this one first, see if we find anything useful. It also makes the land enter untapped. Another Sylvan Scrying. Sure. Alright, what land are we looking for then in that case? I'd like a differently named one. Castle Garenbrig could be useful. I guess that's fine. Alright, where's Ca Castle Garenbrig? I lost it. I was looking at it. There it is. I'll take one of these. Sure. They can hit me for 4 down to 10. Okay, so down to 7. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 differently named lands. Yeah. Sure. Down to 9. Hits me for 3 down to 6. That shadow is a 3-3. Three, three. Alright. This is looking like a loss. Um... Let's do this first, see what's going on. Hmm, I mean, there's a Primeval Titan. So if I take this, I play this, I can't activate it. Hmm, yeah, no, I just lose, don't I? Alright, not, not quite there. Close, I mean, we just needed a couple more lands. We could have started making uh, tokens to block with. Did we go first or second? Because, I, I mean, that was like one turn away from stabilizing. Okay, what do we get? Lands are good. Natural order is good. So this looks like a... We're going second again. That sucks. This looks like a crater hoof hand. With all, with all of this stuff. But we'll see. I also don't know if it's like something I should even be thinking about. Am I looking for crater hoof hands? At what point is crater hoof good? It's, it's good when we have all of these and colony garden tokens and stuff, right? I feel like Primeval Titan and Field of the Dead are... The main win condition, and then we have a like a heavy hitter, a Hail Mary type of play with the Crater Hoof. Okay, what deck is this? I don't know. I, I don't... We have two of these now. That's interesting. Okay, so I'll play... Does it matter? I'll play this. I might not have enough forests, so... You might channel one of those. I don't know. I'm going to have three lands next turn, but once tapped... And I don't have lands... If I draw a land, that's good. Because then I can channel one of these, assuming it enters untapped. Alright. Sure. Didn't really need that. Another one. So... That's a wooded foothills. I thought it was the... Holy crap, both of these are wooded foothills. I thought these were... Uh, the red, the snow land. Because there's snow on it, come on. You can't blame me for that. I need to get a regular forest, right? It would be nice to get a dual land. What do I even need the red for? I don't need red for anything. I need a for the, the, the land that, uh... Let's just get two forests this turn. The land I can give haste. What deck is this, though? I didn't even notice there was a five color one in the list. Was there a domain deck? I didn't notice. There is a, uh, zoo deck. Interesting. I do want to try that deck. Okay, so we can play this as a creature. We play the land for free. It enters tapped. Oh my god, it enters tapped. So uh, that sucks. Okay, so I guess we're doing this then, in that case. And we'll get what matters in this matchup. Nothing. I'm just going to get Field of the Dead. And then I can play this. And I can add this. It enters tap, but it worked out. We got it. It's fine. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. If I draw Primeval Titan, I play it. If I don't, I yeah, I do this. So we need a red source and the haste land next turn. The Hanwer Battlements. Wild Nakato. I take five if they attack. I mean, it has trample, so of course I do. The danger would be Tribal Flames, because this takes me to uh, 13, Tribal Flames takes me to 8, nothing. 
All right, so we play this. We sacrifice one of these. We get Primeval Titan. This will get me... Do I care about the haste or do I just want blockers for one turn? Because I have another natural order and I have another creature. I'd like an untapped land for sure so I can play this fierce empath. Yeah, let's just get this to survive and an untapped land that is named differently. So I guess that would be this. We're not going to worry about attacking this turn. They don't enter untapped because I don't have that enchantment. God dang it. I just keep forgetting that's how that works. Jesus. All right. Well, uh, can you tell I've never played this before? Okay. Well, um, so we can block the wild Nakato. We have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. I need to top deck a land. I could play this and uh, a primeval titan. Okay. Well, no, uh, no, what's up a thing? Uh, tribal flames. So down to 10. Top deck of land? No. Man. Ah, uh, that sucks. One, two, one, two. Yeah, I have five. I mean, I have the natural order. Let's put this in hand. Let's natural order this. Submit. We'll get this. Take action. I should be getting zombies here, right? So what's useful here? I need a red source for sure. So let's get red source and... Hang on, I have one, two, three, four, five. Dang. Um, let's just get the blast zone, potentially, or the castle Garen Brig. Let's get the castle Garen Brig. Does give me a couple two twos, so I can survive this turn. The danger still would be tribal flames. Opponent might be roping. I don't know, their, their timer fully ran out. Oh, they played a land, though. Okay, so let's... Castle Garen Brig. Play this. Was it, was it better to get a Crater Hoof? I don't know. But I will take action. I will get Blast Zone. And maybe just another Field of the Dead. Let's get a pile of zombies. Let's play another one of these. Get two more zombies. We will give this haste. We'll attack with these because I'm just going to get a giant pile of zombies. The danger still would be... Nice. Two tribal flames to the face would still kill me. Oh, let's see my gems, please. Oh, I got a card. It is that card. It's very colorful. Um, This is very slow. Of course, we're going first and we have like the slowest hand ever. I think I have to mulligan. I don't think it seems very good. This seems better. We get this. That's cool. So we can keep this i think we have to put one land back so i'll play this for zero field of the dead or a boreal grazer i don't have the lands for a boreal grazer right i'm playing a land getting a free one i'd have to top deck a land so i think it's better just to get the field of the dead we will play this as a land i need an untapped one to play this and we will Put this into play, not that it matters right now. So now I just don't have much going on, right? Um, oh, <laughs> well, that was pointless. That, by the way, is the type of game that gets cut from my regular videos. But now I can't because I, I have to claim this on the video, right? Or it's going to be weird. That's pretty cool. That's not a good card, though, but it looks cool. This is, like, pretty cool. I mean, it's not that fast. So we get, we get this turn three or turn two. What does it even do, really? I don't know. I want to try it. I'm going to play this on green. I'm going to play this. We're going to put a tap land into play for free. So I can... I can get a shock land if I want. So I have red. So this is the death shadow deck again, I think. Right? Oh, well, they didn't do it right if, they, if it is. They should have fetched shock. That's the whole point. But, okay, um, I guess we do this. Do I just get, like, a, what do I get? Take action. I guess I can just get another Titan. Can't cast it. I need a Castle Garen Brig. I should play this next turn just to thin a little bit. Not that it matters, probably. But let's crack this. We'll get the Shockland, sure. 
Okay. We'll get Shockland, and we can have it enter tapped. We have this up if necessary, so we have one, two, three, four. We'll have five. I mean, I still have a couple turns. Haven't really ramped much this game, but you know, it's okay. Sure. Down to seventeen. That it does. I mean, it's a bit late for ramping now because we're gonna get this next turn no matter what. Yeah, I guess we can just do this. I mean, we can play this this turn, next turn, get... Oh, this is the mono black deck. I got it. That's why they didn't fetch shock. Because they don't have shocks. So we'll play this. Next turn, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. If we draw a land, we can't... No, 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 we can't. I was going to say we could activate this. We can't. I'm um, sure. So we're playing Primeval Titan. We're probably just getting... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five... All my lands are different. I can get two Field of the Deads and just, you know, go crazy. I think Field of the Dead is what we're going for. Two fields gets a bunch of zombies. All their creatures are tiny. That's fine. It already, it, this is going to go. Take action. We are going to get Field, Field. Get some zombies. Play this. So this is a Crater Hub setup for sure. If we top decked uh, Natural Order, we would sacrifice the plant, get Crater Hoof, win the game, basically. Sure. So let's see that happen, right? Natural Order off top? That's what the card's called, right? I think so. Yep, exiling stuff. Could also just top deck Crater Hoof. I have one. Um, no. So, in that case, what, we play this. We probably get another field. Sure. Sure. So, we'll get Blast Zone and a Field of the Dead. And we could get the thing that draws as well, but we'll go with this. So get a bunch of zombies, and then we can pay red, tap this, do this. What's the bottom ability? Right, it's the merge thing. Um, let's do all attack, but not you. We get this again, we'll take action. We will get, I don't know, Bajuka Ball. Nice. <laughs> That's a I mean, that works. This deck's pretty fun, actually. It's a, uh, there's a lot to think about, and I, I highly doubt I'm playing it optimally, but it was kind of fun. All right, well, that is Primeval Titan. Oh, I guess Giganta the Well, oh, okay. They didn't name it. That's why I was confused. It just says Giganta, right? And this is just Dark Ritual when it's mono black, so they didn't, they didn't name the decks. I didn't even look at that. Well, whatever. Anyway, that is Timeless Primeval Titan. That was pretty fun. Timeless looks cool. I want to play it more. It's very expensive. I don't have all the wild. I mean, I, I have 25 rare, 42 mythic. I can craft like two or three decks, but it's like, I can't, uh, as, a, as someone who's making YouTube videos, I can't craft like a deck a week. It's too expensive unless I want to spend a bunch of money, which I don't really want to, but that was fun. And maybe we'll play some more timeless in the future. I don't know. It might be just coincidentally one of these decks. And also it might coincidentally be against a lot of these decks. I, it's really weird how that keeps happening. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.